Hello everyone and welcome to the next in our series of Daily Origami for YouTube. Today we're going to continue with our theme of looking at some traditional origami and today we're going to make a frog and uh, this is a more three-dimensional realistic looking frog than the jumping frogs that we've made before. Um, but they, he looks just as cool, definitely. <laughs> so we're going to be just using standard origami paper, square paper. I'm going to be using paper that's 15 by 15 centimeters and I'll let you guys know the dimensions when we're finished if you're using this for a project or something. Uh, these do like really cool looking frogs. So. Um, what we want to do here is we're going to start off with what's called a frog base and um, basically to get to that we're going to start off first with a square base and then make a few folds to get there. So with my color side facing down, I'm just going to fold my paper in half, open it up, fold the other way as well, open it up. With the color side facing up, go ahead and fold your paper in half diagonally. And fold the other way as well. And then we're going to use all these creases to help us make the next crease. Looking at the color side, find those mountain creases that go horizontally and vertically. Pinch on opposite sides here and just push into the center. Shimmy everything around until you get a nice big diamond shape here, or square look at it from the side. And then I want to go ahead and make sure that I'm looking at everything with those open flaps up at the top. I'm going to take this outer edge here, and we're going to fold it into the center, and I'm going to make this a squash fold. We're going to take the whole flap here, make sure the center is clear, open up everything from the middle, and just push down on that edge straight down into the center of everything. This side's already going the right way. We just reverse this edge as we go, and it gives you this nice kite shape here with everything pushed down. And then we're just going to put this left flap back to the right so that everything's tucked away. And I'm going to repeat that step on this side too. So I'm just going to fold into the center really quick, make a good crease here. Open it up, make sure this whole part flaps over good. Open everything up in the center, pop it out, smoosh it down here right along the center and smooth out the edges and then return that right flap to the left. And we're going to flip everything over and just repeat those same steps on this side too so that we get all four of these flaps uh, smoothed out and folded right in the squash fold here. Squish it down good. When you're finished, you should have a nice little smooth kite shape like this. You should have four flaps on each side. I want to take the left flap and fold it over once, flip it over and do the same thing on the other side so that I'm now looking at the white area and you should see they should split nice and even in the middle. And we're going to take each of these parts up here at the top and fold it towards the center. I'll do the same thing over here. This is a petal fold that we're going to do, just a smaller version of it over here. So I've got both of those sides folded in. Open everything up, and what we're going to do is take this part and pull it out, creating a crease that goes right to where both of these creases hit. You can kind of start things off with just a little pinch on each side, and push down, kind of twist it around as you work. And I find what helps kind of a little as you're doing this to make sure things are kind of straight, is to go ahead and first just kind of put a little pressure on that, and smooth it so that you can kind of get it evened up towards the center based on where your creases are there. Do the same thing on this side. And it's okay if you get a little bit of a white line there in the middle. That's really natural, so don't worry about that. And then I'm just going to turn everything over here and repeat the steps then on this side. So again, we're just taking the top part here and folding into the center. Do this side too. And then just open up and pull that part down so that we're pushing it down and out here. You can kind of, like I said, just sort of pinch that part into the center first if you want to. Kind of help it along, like so. And then I can just push over one, two flaps, flip it over, push over one, two flaps, and that gets me back to that same spot with those white areas. We'll repeat these steps two more times, front and back, so that we can get all of this part folded away. Everything up, 
pull this part down here. And then do the same steps back here too. So we get all that completed, and this is essentially what's known as the frog base now here. Now we want to take the first layer of green on the green on the left side here, fold it over, and get a nice smooth green section. Flip it over, do the same thing on this side too, so that we're looking at nice big diamond green areas here. And from here, what I'm going to do is take that outer area on the bottom, and we're going to fold it into the center. Now, this is getting pretty uh, narrow down at the bottom. Do your best to try to get a good point if you can as you make your crease. Fold it over, and we'll do this side too. We're going to wind up doing this on all four sections. So I'll do the front and the back here first, and then we'll open up to the other side too. So you'll make the fold eight times. So we've made one, two here. Flip it over, do this side too. Got both of those done, and we're going to just fold over one, two, flip it over, fold over one, two, and that will get us to the other big green areas here, and we'll just finish this crease off. Do the same creases here. Flip it over, do the same thing on this side too. This can get a little challenging as you're doing it because you do have a lot of those funny layers of all these parts sticking out underneath, but try to keep things as straight as you can. So get all of that folded over like this, and then I want to go ahead and open it over once, flip it over and open it over again so that I'm looking at, make sure you've got four on one side and four on the other. we got this little bit sticking up here to let us know that we're looking at the right side here. Now I want to start off first by making the uh, top legs of my little froggy. So I'm just going to take the first bit that we see here, this first little leg. We're going to do a reverse crease here by pushing all the way up and reversing it in the middle there. And you want to get it all the way up even with this edge. So we're just going to straight up until it's even with what will be the body for our frog there on the side. And I'm going to do the same thing on this one too. Here we're just going to take that first layer and we're going to reverse it all the way up to the top and try to get a nice smooth edge there as you do this and get it really nice and even with the edge of the body there. So you have something that looks like this. Then I'm going to take and uh, folds down the part up here at the legs to create a better kind of finished looking little leg here. And when I do this, I'm going to do another reverse. And you want to kind of get it as close to right at that edge where this part kind of hits into it. So you're going straight out from there, kind of. And just try to get everything smushed down as clean as you can to this side too. So you get something that looks like this. Then I'm going to take everything and flip it over. Now we're going to make the legs down here. So I'm just going to take the bottom part and make it go straight out so that it goes straight from the bottom of the base of the body here. I'm just shooting for going straight from there. Nice little straight legs going, going out here to the side. Do this one too. down and make sure it goes straight from the body there. So I have something like this. And then I'm going to let the legs bend down a little bit here. You can find a good spot that you want to pick to kind of bring this down. And do the same thing on this side too. Like so. And then we're going to also put a little bit 
by putting a little of the feet out up too. So this is the last little reverse there at the bottom. And these can be getting a little trickier as you're getting down to the bottom here. Try your best to kind of keep things neat and clean though if you can. And uh, you can try to keep a nice straight kind of design there going if you can. That should give you your little frog legs. Oh, and I'm sorry, we need to put a little bit up here at the top too. Put just a little bit coming up so that we get a total completed little frog leg here. frog legs there. And then as a little last bit, what you do is you just blow into it. There's a hole right here. We blow right into that and poof out the head area of our frog to give us our completed frog. Let me show you here. And you can kind of choose, you know, how much air you want to put in there. If you really want to poof out the body a lot or just a little bit. I'm just kind of really going for getting that head tip rounded out as much as I can a little. Kind of pop, pull on the edges first to kind of pop it out. And then you can kind of bring the legs back together down at the bottom to kind of make it look a little bit more realistic. That gives you your little finished froggy. And uh, give you guys the feel for his dimensions here. Get him like facing the right way. There he goes. <laughs> uh, he's going to be about from head to feet about 8 centimeters by 7 if you go straight across. Kind of the finished dimensions there give you an idea of our little finished froggy which is our finished project for today thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time